Hi everyone, welcome to this screencast. Today I'll be showing you how you can fully automate your dev environment using our Gitpod configuration file. The Gitpod configuration file is where the automation magic happens. Let me show you a simple example with our Svelte template, which I showed in the previous screencast. This is our Gitpod configuration file. As you can see, it is just a .yaml file with different tasks that get executed when your dev environment is provisioned. In this case, you have all the dependencies and tools that you need to be installed for this project. You only need to set this up once and then moving forward, every time you start a new workspace, the dev environment already has everything that you need to start coding. Now that you're familiar with the Gitpod configuration file, let's Gitpodify your repo. So in this example, I'll be using one of our Next.js starter templates. So to get started, all you need to do is open a new workspace. And if you're not sure how to do this, make sure that you watch our other screencasts on getting started with Gitpods. I will just click our Gitpod button that's been installed via the extension. So now we've got a workspace running and as you can see, there's actually a Gitpod YAML file that was automatically generated. And this was generated based on the type of project that you have. And now you can just adjust this YAML file to your specific needs, which we can go into in a moment. But just in case that doesn't generate another way, you can create a Gitpod configuration file is through our CLI by just typing in GP in it. And as you can see there, it says the pod YAML file already exists. Do you want to override? In this case, I won't, but I just wanted to show that is an option there for you too. This is our gitpod.yaml file. And underneath our tasks, you can have several different types of tasks. In this case, you have init and command, but you can also have before. Before is used for tasks that need to run before init and before command. Init is usually used for heavy lifting tasks such as downloading dependencies and compiling source code. And command, as you can see here, is usually used to start a database or a dev server. So in before, let's say we can do an echo hello because we want that to run before the npm install and run build and npm run start. This dash here signifies a new terminal. So let's just call this terminal, terminal one. We could also create another terminal called terminal two, and we can have other tasks here. For example, we'll do an init that does an echo that says, Hi from Terminal 2. And you can keep doing this, creating new terminals for all of your different scripts and commands. Another thing that we can add here is a ports section. It exposes HTTP ports via a custom domain associated with your workspace. So we can create that like this. We'll do port 3000. And by default, when a port is opening in a Gitpod workspace, what Gitpod will do is direct HTTP traffic and notify you. So you'll see a pop-up come up here. You can also configure this port section in terms of port behavior. So for example, port opening, visibility, as you can see here. Um, you can also specify ports and descriptions. And I will link a reference to our documentation so you can find all the different ways you can customize this. Other configurations that you can make include adding a custom Docker file. We have a separate video for this, so I'll link that in the description. You can also specify your pre-builds here. And again, we have a different video for that, so feel free to check that out. And in order for you to test this, what you need to do now is commit this into your repo. And once that's committed, close your workspace. We'll just do a refresh on our repo to make sure that it's there. And as you can see, the gitpod.yaml file has been added. And all you need to do is create a new workspace. 
And as you can see here, we've started our new workspace. And if we head over to the Gitpod YAML file to remind us what we added. So we have two terminals. Terminal one does all of the installing of dependencies, running a build and running the dev server. And also we have terminal two. And in terms of ports, we have an open port, port 3000. And if we just head over to ports here, you can see that this is the address and you have your dev server up and running. What I didn't do here is demonstrate that you can actually add a option here to specify how you want the ports to open. You can do on open and then open browser, which automatically launches the dev server or open preview, which opens it on the side. So those options are available for you if you want. And as I said, if you want to make changes to your Gitpod YAML file in order for you to test it, you're going to have to commit and then open a new workspace. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope that you learned something. If you have any more questions about Gitpod, feel free to drop into our community Discord server over at gitpod.io chat. We'll see you there.